So as you guys have probably already read about the title, in today's video guys, I'll be ranking the ground vehicles on which one is worst to best, and I'm actually gonna be ranking it in both inside of the garage itself, but also inside of the smaller garage too. And in this list, I'm only not gonna be including the Humvee because I really don't really know how to put it, and this ranking is going to be based on meta and how useful these vehicles are in the modern uh, side of War Tycoon and how stuff is actually been getting really competitive lately. Anyway, the first vehicle on this list, which I'm actually going to be ranking on the worst vehicle in the game or just the worst ground vehicle in the game, in my opinion, it's going to be the Humvee. The reason why I say so is because, first of all, the Humvee has a pretty big hitbox making it easy to kill, horrible acceleration rate, it cannot carry oil barrels. The answer and explanation is pretty simple. The Humvee is just all out terrible and the only saving grace of it is that it stops you from getting hit inside of the vehicle. And by the way, the windows don't even exist and they're not even bulletproof. Yeah, just don't use the Humvee. It's terrible. So the next one on this list is actually going to be an upgrade and I'm going to be picking the buggy. The only reason why the buggy is going to be ahead of the Humvee is because of the fact that it has a slightly smaller hitbox making it slightly harder to hit. But also another thing which I would like to include is that it's good for beginners that can carry oil barrels. Once again, nothing special about it, but it's just a slight upgrade. Now on the other side, the next one on this list, which is going to be the Gurkha, is basically like an upgrade of the freaking buggy and the Humvee in one. You are a pretty big hitbox to hit, however you do have more health, you do have a gunner at the top, you can carry oil barrels and you're just not that exposed. Once again, nothing special, but this vehicle can go up to 60 miles per hour, which is actually incredibly fast, so once you guys do excel to this high speed, it's gonna be pretty hard to catch you. So the next one here, which is going to be the ATV, the only reason why I'm going to be ranking the ATV instead of the oil barrel holders is because of the fact that the ATV has one of the hardest hitboxes in the game to earn in order to actually hit it. It can help you get out of bases very quickly once you are being raided, and overall that's probably the only thing that's good about it. You guys have a really nice escape group, which if you do not have yourself the speedy Humvee, this is definitely going to serve you the work done. Alrighty, this is where stuff actually gets a little spicy, but I'm actually going to be picking the Katyusha as one of the worst vehicles in the game. And as of a vehicle that actually has some weaponry, Katyusha has to be the worst. And the only reason why I say the Katyusha has to be the worst, and it's actually worse than the Heimars, and I'm going to be explaining you guys that in a second. First of all, the artilleries in this game are just incredibly hard to hit. And overall, the artillery system just needs to be reworked because it's pretty much impossible to actually aim this artillery. And there's nothing really special about it. And the only reason why I say that this is going to be worse than the Heimers is because the Heimers has a strategy that can be used for it, unlike the Katyusha. The Katyusha is literally spawned inside of this smaller garage, however the Heimers is spawned in the bigger one. So once again, you guys know which one I'm going to be ranking next. I'm going to be ranking the Heimers as slightly better than the Katyusha, and the only reason why I say so is because it does have one good strategy going for it. If your enemies are, let's say, standing and camping on top of your garage, it's pretty easy. You guys can literally just eliminate them by shooting up and your enemies should be gone. It's it's such a nice strategy and that's the only reason I'm gonna put it about the Katyusha. It's still bad, but it's better. So the next one I'm going to be ranking is going to be the M35 gun truck. I mean, the M35 gun truck does have one good thing going for it. It's literally the fact that its bullets are quite powerful. Other than this, it's just good transportation vehicle for the early stage of players. And I don't have any more to say about the M35 gun truck. I guess it does have a zoom. But really, this vehicle is just not good. I feel like the previous gun truck was a little bit worse. But this one still needs some changes. I guess armor piercing bullets are okay. And this is fine for anti-air, but if you guys want to play well with this, then you have to really abuse the shield. Other than this, this vehicle once again does not have many uses for it. Now on the other side, another vehicle which is once again quite useless, but it does have more uses, I'm going to be ranking the BTR-80. Here's the thing with the BTR-80. I would love to rank it higher on this list, but reasonably, it has an explosive gun which is okay for infantry, its second gun does good DPS because it has been buffed in the recent update, and the only saving grace of this vehicle is that it can play quite sneaky in the water where you guys could pretty much shoot down anything but you guys really have to be patient because the overall firepower of the BTR-80 is really not that good and if you guys want to play well with this well it's not that good of a vehicle really it's just amphibious and there's nothing more special about it okay so next up you guys might get a little pissed at me for actually picking this but I'm going to be ranking the laser free APC literally I do not see the laser free APC used in any circumstances in this game anymore except for just using it for slight 
area damage and it has a just as bad of an aiming system as the artillery's however it's just slightly easier to aim and it's saving grace is this explosive machine gun but other than this this thing's health is not good its speed is not good and it's just really not that useful it is somewhat versatile in raiding bases but really you guys could just use tanks or use stuff that's going to be higher on this list i just don't really like this vehicle and i don't think it deserves a place higher but overall, I do love the design of this. I really wish the APCs were better in this game, but they're just not that good. Okay, so next up on this list, this vehicle is actually reasonably really good, and I am actually a big fan of the Guardian. The Guardian has an armor piercing bullets, it has smoke, and it also has a machine gun, which is nice for finishing off the enemies. However, the biggest power of this vehicle is that it actually is pretty good against tanks. If you guys do manage to get some sneak attacks on them, you could really circle out your tanks and just shred them with this uh, bullet armor piercing machine gun, and it's actually reasonably good, and it does have some counter against planes as well, because the smoke will really save you guys from actually dying to missiles like the guardian it's actually pretty good and i heavily recommend to try it out Alrighty, so next up we have ourselves a game pass vehicle it does really hurt to say it but the jotv has unfortunately fallen off after the javelin has got nerfed the jotv has almost no versatilities now except for the fact it does have ultra speed and it can actually it's pretty much uh, a slightly better version of the guardian like it has an explosive gun which is okay for infantry to be honest it does shoot for quite long it's small can really save it from planes and etc but really the javelin really allowed it to have better situational awareness and you guys could really know where to attack your opponents from because now it's actually way harder to ambush people from behind because the javelin is just not that useful anymore and it's really easily countered by smoke at this point like it's just not good anymore and i really wish i could rank the jotv higher but it's unfortunately gonna have to stay as slow as it is Alrighty, so now on the other side we do have ourselves some toxic vehicles and i am going to be ranking them quite high first of all the Panzer s1 if i can actually find it where the heck is it okay i cannot see properly yeah as i was saying the Panzer s1 is actually pretty good because it's really good against planes that does have armor piercing bullets there's nothing special about it you could technically say it's going to be better than the patriot because it does have a gun along with the missiles but the missiles are just way weaker the lock-on speed is way weaker the health is just weaker and the only thing this thing has going for it is a slightly smaller hitbox and the fact it can finish off the enemies if they go do go ahead and use like, the flare strut but the flare strut is pretty useless at this point because like let's say once you guys do fire flares let's say in this place one flare goes up the other flare goes down so you guys could easily still shoot your opponents down with the missiles but on the other hand, the Patriot AA truck is going to be a heavy upgrade from the Panzer. It has the fastest lock-on speed in the whole entire game, and its missiles are just incredibly powerful. There's more, no more to say about it. This is probably one of the most annoying vehicles in the game if you do get shot down by it, but we gotta give it credit for being incredibly powerful at doing its job of anti-air. Alrighty, so now we are actually moving into the number three list where stuff is actually really good. I'm going to be ranking the Boxer CRV. This thing has been in the light really much recently because it's just incredibly good at taking down tanks after its recent buff. This thing has 1200 health, which is actually a reasonable amount of health for being able to tank tank shells, for being able to tank missiles. This vehicle is also incredibly fast and agile, but the only problem with it is that it cannot get around the environment that well because once again, it can get stuck very easily because of its big size and that's when you guys are really screwed however it is actually incredibly powerful with its armor piercing gun like this gun is incredibly good at taking down tanks or even vehicles in the sky and the explosive machine gun is actually just pretty good at taking down uh, people that are just on the ground trying to kill you but really the boxer i really do love it because it can counter planes it can t counter tanks but it can also get countered because of the fact its health is not as high and it doesn't really have any main cannons like the tanks and etc but it does have a good damage output if you guys do play with strategy now the second best vehicle in the garage is going to be the VCAC Mephisto. I really do love the VCAC Mephisto. It, I could even rank it as the best in the game as of ground vehicles, but realistically, it does have a few downsides. Its health is one of its main downsides, and the fact once it does run out of its missiles, you pretty much just gotta run away. But if you do catch your opponents from behind, you could really just fire these four missiles on them and shred almost any tanks or any other vehicle in the game. By the way, two of these missiles, or even one of these 
these missiles will be able to shred any plane in the game as well, except for the likes of the higher-ended planes like the F-35 and etc. But really, the VCSC Mephisto is just incredibly versatile, and just with it being able to go in the water, it just became even more versatile than it was. And this smoke is also really useful with dealing with planes and keeping yourself safe from your opponents. I really do love the VCSC Mephisto, but I believe it to be the second spot and not the first. Alrighty, and the number one spot I'm going to be taking is going to be the Lava. The Lava has received a absolutely huge buff recently, and it does have some insane damage for, for planes, for little ships, for freaking shields, and just anything that's really in the sky, except for tanks. Like, this vehicle is pretty good at taking down pretty much everything, except the heavily armored vehicles. I really do love this armor-piercing bullets on this, and this vehicle's main gun is actually its main strength. However, it does also not fall off in terms of versatility, because it has four lock-on missiles which pretty much do pretty good damage. I believe three of these missiles will be able to take down a little bird and that's probably the most annoying helicopter in the game. So you guys would definitely be able to get the job done. But not to add if there's just enemies just attacking you on the ground. These rockets have one of the best area damage in the whole entire game. So these rockets will definitely get the job done. And even if they don't, you guys still have your gun to finish them off. And the smoke is also pretty good at, take, at being able to get rid of uh, planes missiles. But the only downside of the lava is that its speed is not that good and its maneuverability is also not that good as well. I feel like the maneuverability of this is the biggest downside of this vehicle because just look how slowly it turns. Yeah, it feels a little bit wonky, but it is quite interesting in terms of being able to get up hills, I have to say that. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys in today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below how you would rank these vehicles. Personally, I believe I rank them quite well in terms of versatility and also in terms of meta. Like, I really do love some of these buffs that recently happened to these ground vehicles. They were really deserved and yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to all my channel members.